Hello again and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. I have a bit of a confession to make. After finishing Friends in Low Places, I immediately went to save the game and borrow for a cigarette and instead hit load game instead. So I've just had to replay the entire mission all over again. Still never mind, not much difference. Um, one, of the other, uh, one of the people that did level up didn't. But never mind, other than that, no real change. I think we may have got one fewer thin man corpses. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. Oh, well. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the hollow. I'm pretty sure this is the same place I had a alien abduction and the same light activity as well. So um yeah. I shall put up a team and be right with you. This is the team we're going with. We've got uh, Magnuson, the Medic, Veteran, the Assault, Aliemi, the Sniper, Rocketeer Gunner, Infantry, and Scout. Fairly uh, well around the team. It's a roadway, so the Rocketeer and Sniper might actually get some use, possibly. You never know. I'm not quite sure why I gave the Scout and Sniper spare medkits. I don't think I was paying attention. Drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction attempts coming in from the cities around the world. You will be deploying at the site of the latest report. Roger that, Bradford. Right, let's have a look. Yeesh. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. It's not looking massively promising. Uh, cover wise is it? Well, and we don't even get time to get into cover in any way, shape or form. And that is literally no time whatsoever. What do you reckon? That's just such terrible scatter. Admittedly it's not going to get much better but we'll try taking a steady up anyway. Um, Jesus. No cover at all. The sniper obviously can just fall back down to here. Head up there, maybe get a shot off. Head up, maybe get a shot off. Uh, so, swing wide. And medic, Jesus. I want to save that spot for my poor beleaguered scout. Medic is going to have to go there. Why are you debuffed? Well, in elevated unit, yeah, well, they're floaters there. They always have the elevation bonus. That's what floaters do. This is way too much half cover to be fighting against flying units. take our 58. Could have overwatched instead but you're not realistically going to get a much better chance. Yeah forget the shotgun. Let's go for a bit of suppression. I see what they do. You just hunker down because you've got a shotgun. You're never going to achieve anything at this range. Jesus you're hitting 13% already game. Really strictly necessary, is it? Is it? Over here. Okay, let's see if you can do any better on the rocket now. Uh, slightly better. 1.8 scatter. I think it's more important, really, to uh, center it on those just to be reasonably certain they get hit. Oh, one of them got a hit. Alright, let's see if we can finish it. Well, that's something at least. Poor gunner. Mm, I'd like to get the running gun up, however. That float is being 
one unit of problem. Maybe if we go there, that'll draw the overwatch. Yeah, the major problem is, of course, moving up that far is almost guaranteed to trigger whatever else is up there. anything with any real proficiency. I don't have hollow targeting so well we'll just take our sniper shot and hope. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Distance and lack of cover is a serious problem. Bring the medic up. Bring the assault up. That is at least full cover. I think I might have to have you hunker. Yeah, let's just have you hunker for the turn and you can overwatch and see what he does he's taking some damage so he might just uh, sit himself down in overwatch oh yep here we go massively unenviable so good work. Still have no one realistically far enough forward to uh, take any real advantage. Four forty nine. there can make it across you can do nothing but hunker for the time being you can do nothing really but hunker for the time being off the bat. Yeah, I'd love to advance, but um, from the sound of it, I'm guessing they just stood still and overwatched. Let's just head on up, see if we can get eyes on them. Nope, they have absolutely legged it. That's gonna. Affirmative. Moving out. Time to begin uh, heading up. Affirmative. Moving out. Um, you can actually just sit there and steady. Slowly creep everyone up a bit. So where the hell they've gone? Ah, there's one. Well, it's worth a try. Oh, and there's him again. off on that fella. Just doing it that way to uh, preserve a sniper's shot for if I can get eyes on one of the others. 
which apparently I cannot. They went a long way away, didn't they? Make it up there. No, not even close. Location confirmed. Can you still want to maintain some presence on the left there? It's only half cover down there instead of full, but. That side completely blinded. Hey, you hear Oddly enough, no, I don't hear anything. Oh, yeah, there's a floater. Oh, and a couple of mutons. Well, that's unpleasant. Hmm, I don't think that's in flashbang range. Nope. So you can just hunker for the time being. You continue spotting for my sniper wherever he is. Still only a 60% chance, but... Uh, hey, I've taken more shots. Yeah, it was worth a try. Let's <clears throat> keep on heading up here. You're probably going to want to retreat. Um, steady up. Get your shredder off next turn, possibly. Yep, yeah, no, you're retreating. Still missing a couple of floaters, I'm sure of it. Ah, there's one. Let's just check. Yeah, there was a floater left. Two mutons. Yeah, sack it. Let's see if we can take that problem out. No. It's a problem with snipers with low aim and uh, no scopes. And he could very easily run and gun to there. Scout. Yeah, for some reason I, I gave them a medkit instead of their customary flashbang. I don't know why I did that. Does he maybe get a shred off on the pair of them? Try just to swing that in there. Oh, they are indeed shredded, of course. Sir. Not bringing a flashbang has really come back to haunt me. He could get across there and get the flashbang off. I wouldn't have thought there's going to be much more alien activity on this map. That is, after all, a light activity. Can I just have a look at the cover? So, yeah, yeah, that's only half cover, so I could easily run and gun up to there, get the shot off. But then he's taking some close range shots from them. Uh, suppress one. If I bought my goddamn flashbangs. It's not one of my leveled up medics, so I don't have a second suppression available either. That's the trouble. For him to get into flashbang range, he's going to get shot. 
by that floater. And to kill the floater, he's going to get in range to be wrecked by those two mutons. But can't sit all day, got to make a decision. If this was full cover, I'd be feeling much better about this. However, it isn't full cover, so... Suppress one of you move into position. We get a shot off next time. Try to scare them with an overwatch or two, maybe. Wouldn't have thought mutants would be all that scared of overwatches, if I'm honest. You can't actually get a shot off without crossing to there, which is going to leave you very easily flanked. Ow. Yep, missing 62s. Lady Luck is not on our side here. Well, they actually missed one. Jesus, that's too close to miss. Yeah. Well, I always knew that was a possibility. What matters, though, is she can now. Yeah, this is what happens when you forget to um, gear up your team properly. Bring a medkit on the scout instead of a flashbang was a uh, massive, massive oversight. of shooting at all, so never mind. You're just going to have to steady up. You could also do with a reload. Just try and get you slightly closer to the action first. As long as they don't land one of their fluky low percentage shots again. I mean, they've already had one this game. <coughs> yeah, they didn't need to land a second. Yeah, I know, no meld. That was always going to be a problem. I'll tell you what else is a problem. Actually trying to get a kill shot on either of these buggers. Assaults taking wounds as usual, but uh, my poor assaults and scouts. Yeah, and I'll get put through the ringer. That was my own fault for not bringing a flashbang on the scout. If the flashbang had been on the scout as they ordinarily are, would have flashbanged the two, would have reduced the mutons' chances to hit massively. As it is, they're now out for a month. Now, oh, well, shit happens. See, now last time I went for all the um, Overwatch type stuff, I think this time I might just go for uh, aim and crit chance. I'll be honest, infantry are not my favourite class. In fact, they're probably my least favourite class. 
Uh, low profile on the sniper, why not? Minuscule amounts of stuff. Uh, let's see what we get next. Excellent. Oh, even more excellent. Um, yeah, go on, I don't need the metal just now. What I actually need is cash. Yeah, I've got power, so... Do I start building my second lab? Yes, I do. And I should be saving money and resources and stuff for um, things. Laser weaponry and shit. It's a low, medium. It's going to be a scouting run. It's unlikely that I'm going to be able to take it out. But I'll have a go. Without mediums, even the raiders are uh, tricky. Okay, it's a medium, excellent. So yeah, really truly do need the alloys and such, so I'll put a cut in here and be right back. This is the team we're going with, we're bringing along not one but two assaults, one lance corporal and one specialist. A rocketeer with an extra rocket rather than a shredder. A gunner, scout, token rookie because I really need to start replacing my losses. And a medic, all with uh, pretty much standard loadouts, you know, high caps, laser sights, flashbangs, ceramic plates to bring these to up to six hit points. Because uh, squishies are squishy. We're heading into China for the next operation. Cheers for that info, it Brad. Like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. Will do. There's a bit of a risk bringing rookies on a medium, but uh, eh, got to level them at some point. Really need to hire a load more as well. I've had quite a few losses and quite a few off on uh, long-term injuries as well. Yeah, the RNG has not been massively kind to me as of late. Right. Um, are we on a corner of the map? No, we are not. Oh yeah, that's that's an edge of a map, isn't it? Right, UFOs that way, so I suppose swing down and around, maybe. Yeah, seems planish, plan adjacent. Let's just see if we can explore a bit of this high ground. First off, well, we know this area is clear, so. Have everyone else file up. Follow the leader style. Of course, I need to bear in mind um, I was lucky to not get a terror mission last month. Probably going to get one this month, though. I can't imagine not getting one two months in a row. And for some reason the assaults are bringing up the rear. Up. I don't know why. What are we here? What are we here? Mutons? All I hear are mutons. Okay, let's continue exploring the high ground. Still not hearing much. Still no contacts. I'd kind of like to dash forward to that tree, but that is very ambitious. Instead, let's just have you explore off to the left a little. Okay, we know the left is clear. I think we need to start swinging around in that direction, realistically. Trees had a wee. Um, yeah, stop being distracted. 
So that looks like the edge of the map there, but it can't be because that's the UFO. It's just a very hard edge of fog. Stop being distracted. Um, let's just head up. Get everyone all in a bunch. It's a shame to give up the high ground to uh, advance on the left there, but it being a crash UFO, the aliens are probably going to be quite near the ship rather than out exploring and picking flowers and doing whatever it is aliens do on these missions when they get to land. And that's just a view swing around there. So you can lead the charge off yonder direction. That tree's had a wee as well. Yeah, I'm hearing drones. Whoa! Okay, that's that's some people, isn't it? That's that's definitely some people. Um, your scatter is, as always, horrendous. How about we just pop you back there and steady up? Actually, we may just need to take shots. I think that's probably going to be um, required here. So just take your shot first before we potentially block it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He got his 40s. Gonna be one of those missions, is it? Just move, creep around so we don't get flanked. See, I kind of want to save that one for my assault shotgunners, but. have no shot at all from there, that's interesting. So that position doesn't get you a shot at all. See, I really don't want to leave anyone on this side because they're too easily flanked. Um, I mean someone could just stay up behind that tree because that's really difficult to flank from. And you my friend Flush would not do sufficient damage at this point because you don't have heat ammo, so you're just going to have to take a shot. And you two, I don't know what we're going to do with you. Um, file back there, I suppose. Yeah, shotguns, not um, not really the weapon for this particular fight. I suppose I could have run and gunned them both, but uh, I don't want to risk triggering more alien groups. Okay, still think that's fine, still think he's not shooting. Yeah, okay, that's fine, I, I don't care about that. Stay off all you like, fellas. Alright, let's start advancing. See, at this point we are going to have to do the blue move overwatch crawl a little bit just because of Seekers decloaking on us. Which is a tad irritating, but uh, oh well, these things happen. Okay, let's see where in the conga line we can position assaults. One there. I probably could have got away with running and gunning my assaults to finish those seekers off, but you know, you run and gun them forwards and trigger a uh, pod of, I don't know, mutons or something would be bad news bears. Oh, and everyone now just sets 
some overwatches just in case they do pop up. I'm still hearing drones and mutons. And there's one. And someone managed to hit it at least. Oh, and there's the other. That close combat specialist. Once again, worth its weight in gold, as it generally is. I'm sure I heard some meld just then. Well, that's now it's blue move and reload. Absolutely love. And then we can continue exploring. stuff moving around in the ship. Probably those mutons. Right, that is the edge of the map, so swing around this way. See they're getting a bit sparse on the coverage terrain wise here, isn't it? There is the ship right there. I'm thinking maybe actually swing around the other side just on the off chance there is another pod kicking around. You never know, it's possible. Stranger things have happened. May as well at least have a look. Because there's, there's absolutely no point in engaging the uh, outsider without clearing the pods if it can at all be avoided. Especially since these medium outsiders can have two to four, medium UFOs can have two to four other buggers. Plus the other side of the UFO might have a better breaching position than this one. I don't think we're alone out here. No, we are definitely not alone out here. Okay. There's a very good chance that everything else on the map is just sitting in the UFO. Let's see, because just run out on a hunt and destroy up. Take a few risky dashes. Yeah, that position's going to be shitty to breach because everything's been destroyed. Um, this position might possibly be a little bit better, although it does mean coming across in half cover. Yeah, if it's possible to gain access to the UFO, sneaky like, that's obviously massively, massively preferable. Can I just pop them there? Didn't really want them to jump over there, that could be dodgy, no, got away with it. on a floater they were indeed lurking in the UFO and they've decided to come out to play oh 
Okay then, what do we got? What do we got? Um, well, you've got a suppression. Whew, your shots are terrible. Worth risking a snap rocket? Not really, because it leaves them out in cover. Out of cover. Plus, of course, trees can't actually be blown up anyway, so... Smoke grenade or suppression, all just taking that shot. And if you can flank, that means the rookie can flank. There are those drones I heard. Okay, okay, so you can't realistically do what I need you to do, nor can you. Or you could possibly from this angle. Alright. Let's move one up. If we can, no, we're just out of range. Fuck it. Fuck it all the fuck, fuck. Those drones are going to get easy, easy flanks on us all. Oh, completely trapped. Okay. Sack it, rookie. Just take your shot. Even with a flank, it's only 60%, but. Uh, Take it anyway. Obviously, you're going to panic because. Um, here we go. That intimidate, man. It's impossible. Oh, we're just going to pile you around there for the time being. You can do nothing particularly useful for me. Let's just flashbang the closest one. Scout, I know, I, I, I wish I could get you in a position to do something useful here. But you're just going to have to pop there to maybe do something next turn. Oh, shit, I could use them to flashbang those two. Oh, well, lessons learned. Well, you are going to suppress that fella, because he's going to run due to being flanked. And the medic is just going to smoke out the slob that are very easily flanked. I mean, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference against those drones. What a time for those fucking drones to wander in. No drones, no shooty shooty. I mean, to be fair, the drones are less of a threat than the mutons, but they are sufficiently threatening. Jesus, especially when there are four of them. They can still do some serious damage. Expected he runs. Now the question is, what are the other two doing? Overwatch. <coughs> Where the hell did that one even go? Oh, floater. That's also one unit of serious problem. Yeah, I know. People are panicking everywhere. Right. Rocket man, what do you got? What do you got? You can't get the floater. You can try to get the other two though. Would be really helpful if you could land this on target. Okay, that's not nothing. We need to do something about these fucking drones. Maybe not with a medic straight off the bat though. Um, yeah, but the rookie's panicking and useless. You're also panicking, aren't you? Oh no, you recovered. You've got a run and gun kill there potentially, but. Uh, advance. Suppose advance flashbang. I mean, they're not going to do anything except run for cover at this point. What do you got? You've only got a shot on that. 
I mean, you might as well take it because he's going to be really problematic. Yeah, thought so much. Okay, let's go balls out. I mean, the float is probably going to punish us for this, but. I forgot that was on Overwatch. I missed anyway. Wow, really? Your shots are that bad even with a. Yeesh. Okay, floater dealt with. Definitely run and gun one, flank the other. It should trigger a close combat specialist shot. It's so risky. Potentially triggering that outsider though. Still, nothing else for it. Oh, thank fuck for that. Alright. You go boom. Beautiful. Should have just rocketed the drones after all. And hopefully he will decide to run. Maybe a backup plan in case he doesn't. I don't think. What is your flashbang range like? Yeah, that's the trouble with our support engineers. Nope, we're just going to have to leave Georgia out there. You instead can come up and maybe do something about these drones. 55 on everything. Let's go for that one, it being the closest. Got 54s. Shit, smoke's worn off. This is going to be painful. This is going to be very painful. Oof. It's a shame drones don't overwatch. Double moving, okay. Eee, I hate them. Run away, you fucker. Good boy. Didn't kill it. What a time to roll minimum damage. Okay, at least he's away. We're not out of the woods here, people. Okay, drone down. What do you got shots on for me? Absolutely nothing. What about you? What you got? 72, take that. And we are never going to get close enough to do anything helpful. I would so very dearly love to chase that muton down. I mean, she's done most of the work already, hasn't she? Can't run too far now. Okay, what have you got for me shot wise? With the one on there. Um, yeah, flash probably still isn't going to do enough damage due to lack of heat. Alright, who else is left? Just the rookie. Oh, really, it's just the one drone. So that suppression probably not strictly necessary. So I can probably sneak the rookie in close enough. Let's get a decent-ish shot. Well, 50-50. It's not too bad. Here we go. Right, you. Go down there and help chase down that bloody muton. You 
can just, I don't know, sit there. Yeah, not happy about rolling minimum damage on that close combat specialist shot. Okay, you lot, I think, could really do with uh, regrouping and prepping for a breach on that ship. Get everyone up, reloaded, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, that side of the ship is actually closed, so... This would be the direction to breach in, if I could actually do a breach. Uh, let's just creep you forward and take a reload. triggering the outside of pods when I'm not ready for it. We can probably get another flashbang off there. I mean I've got to hunt this guy down, I can't just leave him floating around. Coming to support. Just a hunker or something. Stop running. Stop running. You'll only die tired. Let's just uh, have a quick looky do. Meld is about to expire, so I'll take the risk. Hopefully, I can get to that in time. Right, Medicus, um, you're going to need to move out of the way. The medic can heal my rookie up. That's the rookie healed. Tell me you've got a flank from there. No, nope. running gun it is then. I mean, you can get flanked, but you can't flank him because of reasons. Okay. Now, at this point... I think you people need to... Uh, Attempt to join up with the rest of the squad at some point, maybe. Or we'll just keep him in reserve. When chasing that mutant has left me down to just one flashbang on the scout, and I think one on one of the assaults. So this is not going to be the easiest of breaches. Now I've lost a bunch of meld as well. Okay. Let's see if we can get everyone roughly adjacent to useful positions. <clears throat> In an ideal world, I'd hold off on the breach until my um, assaults had regrouped with the rest of the team. However, I don't think I'm going to get that luxury. What I'm going to do instead is just pop you into that corner and reload. Right, Salts can just hunker until we make contact. Everyone else can come in ready for the breach. I mean, you never really know where these aliens are going to be. Six, seven, yeah, that's everyone. Oh, 
Oh, it's heading and have a. Uh, do we look? Are you getting directional indicators from there? That door is closed. That door, on the other hand, is open. Okay. So we're going to want to peek. Peek again. That's looking clearish. Spook them with this group, kill with the assaults, or spook with the assaults and kill with this group. However, that's that's the ideal world. That's not the real world. It is entirely possible they're actually in the command pod. It's pretty rare. They're normally floating around there-ish. Bearing that in mind, we'll just edge you forward a teeny bit and hunker, and you can stay where you are as well. And the two groups should be able to meet in the middle. Let's just have you have a little wee look in there. Maybe a little wee peek around that corner. Uh, nothing in there. It could be in the back corner here. Well, it could possibly be in the front pod, you never know. It could be hiding around there, possibly. If they are, we need to know before we... Uh... No, there is an intact power thingy though, which is cool. You can also head around there. Oh, if they run out through that, we can maybe get a couple of shots off on them. You head up there. Again, we be chilling. We be chilling. We be overwatching. Yeah, it does look like they are actually moving around either the command pod or just outside of it there. So let's find out, shall we? Um, pop your head around the corner there. It seems quite unlikely that they would be out there. Let's just have you um, pop up there to have a look. And you pop around there, have another look. If they are there, they're hiding very, very well. Clear, so let's always get ready for the running gun push into the room. Since it's taken sufficient time to regroup, the running gun is back off cooldown for both of them. Yeah, they are almost definitely within that uh, the command and control room, the bridge, whatever you want to call it. doors just don't smash like proper ones do, do they fellas? It's just not on, is it? Okay, 
Yep, yeah, they are definitely in the bridge. Two of. Okay, let's go run and gun. Um, don't think it really matters all that much where they stand. Looks like their computers are actually intact. It's interesting. Okay, that was annoying. Uh, that's okay, we can still potentially finish those off. In fact, what we can do is pop ourselves there. Maybe get our close combat specialist on. Except they're not actually. They don't have close combat specialists because they're too low level. Oh fucking fuck fuck. Okay. Who else can pile in here? Their flanks are still likely to run, but that's one. And you can just creep in for a flank on the other. Okay, didn't go exactly according to plan. But it went well enough. Did uh, miss out on one meld canister, but God knows where that was. The drones must have been guarding it. Right now we have a close combat specialist. Let's see, uh, medic. Gonna go smoke and mirrors. I think I, I do need to get someone with revive for uh, large ships, gangplank and those sort of missions. And you are going to be neither of those classes. I'm going to turn you into a replacement scout. Okay, heat ammo, excellent. Got a heat ammo gunner. And let's see if you've got hollow targeting, I think. I'd love dead eye, but the scouts just don't do enough damage. I think we're going to have to go low profile because I do tend to put you out in uh, harm's way somewhat. Well, here we've got a flow computer and a power source out of that. Rock on, let's just immediately sell off the damaged crap. This will be enough to buy me four more rookies because I really need to replace my losses. Um, while I'm thinking about that, Another squishy scout. But this game is very, very hard on scouts. So, I need as many of them as I can get, I think. Right, that's another one scanning for uh, a potential hunting mission later on. Let's see if we can knock him out of the sky. We're in pursuit. Still, I'm pretty sure I did half damage, so we will fail his uh, mission. But I'd like to actually take him out. Just so I can do another raid. Because my people really need experience. Nope, he's legged it. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, I've actually got sufficient allies. I might be able to do something as well. Yeah, maybe get some, uh, the next step of that. Obviously, you need to do UFO analysis, need experimental warfare, need thin man autopsies, need many things. Uh, uh, alien alloys, no. I really, really want scientists, but I need to keep alloys for um, laser weaponry once I've got the cash for them. I really need laser cannons on my fighters, that's it's not even a 
It's tempted to go advanced body armor, get my carapace on nice and early, but I really need the radar analysis done as well. Nap of Earth. So he is probably going to be landing if he's Nap of Earth. He's not going to be bombing because he's a raider, not a destroyer. So let's just see what he does. Has indeed landed. Okay, I think I'll go for a landed medium, but that will be for next time. Until then, once again, thank you very much for watching.